hello everybody good morning and i welcome to this today's webinar my name is as introduced by monica my name is bikash majumdar i am the senior technical support engineer and i, I sit in bentley singapore office uh, before starting to the uh, coming to the right point and all of us get involved in the action uh, let me you know, reveal some of the information that today's webinar was supposed to be delivered by my colleague, senior manager, Mr. Madan Alumalai. But unfortunately, Madan for sake, he has started, he is not in a position to speak. So it has become my holy responsibility to deliver on behalf of him. But the content and the narrations, everything is created by Mr. Madan, and you will realize later on how efficient it is created, how informative it is. So this is not the uh, introduction of Madan only. Madan is, is uh, practicing Stack Pro and its line of products for many decades. And he is a well-known personality in the practicing structural and piping engineers in this uh, Southeast Asia, Australia, New Zealand, India, and beyond. So I think many of the attendees, they might be, you know, came across in here and there or some other occasions or in, you know, seminars. Watch the presentation, and uh, which is efficiently presented by Madan. Now, come to the today's topics uh, uh, of discussion. Uh, you notice this is the uh, interoperability makes the life easier to structural engineers using the Stand Pro Connect Edition. So, hereafter, the interoperability uh, will will refer as interop to minimize our talking time. And the first thing is. You'll realize that how uh, it, uh, interop makes the, uh, you know, the life easier for structural engineers. Before that, uh, let me tell you something a little bit about the, what is interop. Actually, the winning, the features, the capabilities, and the essence of inter, uh, interop is lies in the word interoperability. You can understand by the word itself. So, uh, internally operated. So. It, so the other way, the, uh, to little extent that, you know that Bentley portfolio is equipped with many, many structural uh, software. Uh, every software has their own you know, specific expertise and all these things. Some of the things are carbon, but all softwares are complementing each other. So similarly, we have uh, a concept, uh, I think, uh, in the previous uh, webinar that Madan discussed very well, that we have a uh, consolidated uh, licensing system called SEL, uh, Structural Enterprise License. There are, SEL is nothing but a, a licensing system uh, that supports uh, many structural, I mean, Stat Pro and other structural products and its line of product uh, to be specific nine by numbers. Uh, those are supported by the ACL. That means any user, if she or he is having a single license of ACL, he or she will be able to access and execute all those nine softwares with a single license of ACL. So this interoperability, interop is not between the software which fits in ACL. Beyond that, we have Bentley has the auto pipe, the pipe stress analysis uh, software, and we have our beam process. So it talks to that, uh, you know, uh, pipe, auto pipe, and as well as our beam process. So let's, uh, uh, so considering all these, uh, we have, uh, you know, uh, this is a short agenda that we uh, are going to discuss, and we are just putting ourselves in action. So we are showing as the beam of interoperability, the piping of interoperability, drafting interoperability. These are the new features of new, I mean the features, new features, new features added in new new version of Stat Pro. Connection design interoperability, foundation design interoperability, advanced concrete design, which many of you might be knowing as RCDC, uh, interoperability through open state macros, and other interoperability features. So we'll try to you know, explain and put ourselves in action one by one. The first uh, the first uh, one which is in the number, uh, the beam interoperability. That's what is the beam interoperability? First of all, uh, 
in recent trend, I mean, those who are in the practice in the industry, they might have noticed that nowadays the project, either it's a building project or a infrastructure project, the mining or a process plant, whatever it is, single disciplined engineering solution is not sufficient right from the planning and the commissioning of the project. So every project requires multidisciplined engineering practices and involvement. So BIM is nothing but a process. It's a system, it's a process, and so it needs the multidiscipline coordination, as I said. So many companies actually now moving for their need, project need, the BIM process. A digital twin, which will, uh, is, the, is the next trend of the engineering, in the engineering industry. So if, if you're using the BIM program, BIM process for modeling, as its benefit of multidiscipline coordination, class detection, documentation, estimation, tool simulation, etc. And a user can start the modeling in a BIM program like Bentley OpenStack, oh, sorry, Open Building uh, Designer. We call it OBD. is a basically modeling of BIM. Uh, and then import it to StatPro physical model through integrated structural modeling or vice versa. Integrated structural modeling is explained many times before in the previous webinar as well. It's, a, uh, it's called ISM. It's a common platform where we can, the data can be exchanged by directionally between uh, the software. So how the, you know, the Interrupts. This the left hand side. If you look at this uh, the, the video, I'm mean, not the the uh, image. The the, the model is created by OBD. OBD. And later on, the same model could be transferred to StatPro through the ISM. So what it does is through the ISM it creates a repository, and from StatPro you can, you know, get that repository and update it, modify it, whatever, and get it, and get a analytical model done. So this is, uh, let's uh, 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 further to our uh, beam interoperative example, uh, uh, we'll, we'll put some action uh, through the video. Uh, I, I, I uh, you know, want to tell once again, the beam is not a complete software. It's a process or a system, whatever way you call it. Uh, this process is equipped with modeling facilities like, you know, modeling facilities like uh, architectural modeling, structural modeling, mechanical modeling, electrical modeling. So our today's presentation will be uh, limited to our structural modeling part because uh, we can't, uh, you know, demonstrate with the short uh, duration uh, and for this kind of webinar for all these uh, modeling facilities. So this is a model, <coughs> excuse me, uh, which is created by OBD. And uh, you see this, uh, 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 this is actually Ecosim building design it shows, it is, it is renamed, rebranded as uh, open build, open building design and now uh, it has many various <coughs> other options like architectural as i said mechanical electrical and uh, all this let's uh, see this model is created uh, by obd and uh, uh, our task is to you know uh, get this model exported to that pro through ISM, set for physical modeler. So uh, it is modeled with you know, column with I sections, pedestal foundation with pedestals and base plate, slabs, bracings, and beams with channels, I guess. Now what we are going to do is, we are not going to export this entire structure to the stat pro because, because we are not going to, uh, you know, uh, we are going to analyze and design the superstructure only, so it's above the uh, foundation, above the pedestal. So we are creating a substructure, considering which is above the pedestal, and uh, 
finding the substructure is a new name given the uh, superstructure. The substructure of the whole structure, but it is a superstructure. And we are we are uh, importing the solid uh, dot solid the slabs. And exporting, exporting through uh, ISM, which is being supported all Bintley, uh, you know, <coughs> software. So now look at this. Now it, it is in the we opened it in the physical modeler mode of Stat Pro, and we are just going to the and creating this uh, ISM repository which is created. Some uh, few setups and is synchronizing and look at the interoperability and through ISM. So this is the ISM model. Here, an user can modify, delete, addition, deletion. Everything can be done and can update it, and further it can be called in. Stat Pro. Now we look back the physical model of Stat Pro Connect Edition. This is what it is. Now, if a 3D rendered view, the slabs are not looking because the slabs materials are not defined yet. So, what we are going to do is we can define the slabs. Uh, <coughs> uh, materials. Uh, uh, United States country and uh, something uh, say example yeah this is material and now we can that you can visualize the slab so this is uh, uh, this is uh, one on sort of interoperability between the you know our OBD the model created in OBD and later on the physical modeler transferred to STAT Pro for further analysis and design of the superstructure. And the STAT Pro superstructure analysis and design, probably most of our attendees they know. And this is not our you know, uh, uh, scope of discussion today. So, this is one. Uh, uh, let's, let's, uh, uh, moving ahead. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is, in a single model, there are other interoperability, as I discussed. Uh, those are uh, piping interoperability. Uh, those are uh, drafting, uh, drafting interoperability, connection design interoperability, foundation design interoperability, advanced country design uh, detailing interoperability, and interoperability through, you know, open state macros and other. So what we're going to do is, we'll create another model We'll create another model where we'll showcase our piping interop, wrapping interop, connection design, and foundation design. And later on, we'll pick up, we'll get another model, the concrete model that will be created by RAM structural system, and that will go for the RCTC, the concrete uh, design and detailing. Okay, so let's start together uh, with piping and uh, wrapping, connection design, and foundation. So piping support reaction. If you look at this, uh, uh, I mean, many engineers they practice such a way that you know the piping team they analyze the pipe stress, they perform the pipe stress analysis, and they do their design. At the same time, the structural team they the team designs the structure. I mean, the the pipe the piping system sits on the structure. The supporting structure, but they never do the combined stiffness analysis for both. Because in the reality, the piping system, the pipe system, it sits on the supporting structure. So that to the better and better and best quality engineering practice should be perform a combined stiffness analysis, then go for the structural design. So the piping interoperability give this facility to the users. So those are having this, you know, the practice of piping, and those are having the license of 
Bentley auto pipe and at the same time stat pro work to some extent in our ACL support stat pro so they can directly import the auto pipe support reactions to our the structure and then the structural model can be exported to stat pro and auto pipe as well so it can do the more combined accurate you know uh, safeness analysis in auto pipe Thus, the piping interoperability helps the both structural piping engineers increasing the efficiency of the design process. It reduces the overall timing to completion of the project. At the same time, in other way, it, it decreases the cost of the project very significantly. Now, there is another option called it drafting uh, interoperability. Intero. So, uh, you know, the recent uh, Stat Pro version, which is the Stat Pro Connect Edition 22, uh, it has a new feature added therein, which is called Auto Drafter, Steel Auto Drafter. What it does is it, it produces the general drawing, the GA drawing, but it doesn't definitely, it doesn't, you know, uh, produces the connections and all. So, uh, so it is in built in a stat pro so that means why you call it inter uh, interrupt because uh, but getting the drawing you don't have to invoke this particular feature independently once the design is performed the program can you can call the program and get the you know uh, drawing done so this uh, in a in a um, way the auto adapter feature uh, as I said, is a, is a feature of is it doesn't need any extra licenses. Only things the user need to be uh, Stat Pro uh, uh, user uh, with the select uh, contract, and it creates the alphanumeric grads as automatically created, which is fully customizable. I'll show you all these things in action. Villa materials are generated. So it's a lot of time for the structural engineers to communicate. So every design information to the detail. So every interop actually eventually the ideas and ideology for creating this kind of features and facilities to minimize the project time and eventually it will minimize the cost of the project. So life become easier. So this is the plan layout for the steel auto adapter. This is a plan and this is the, uh, the left hand side you can see this is a now the skeleton diagram, the three dimensional skeleton diagram. So you can just after designing you can as an user you can uh, you know, design. Uh, you can draw. You can draw and draft all the design. Gear drawing. This is a sectional uh, drawing. This is how it looks like. We'll show in action. And uh, this is the model, 2D model output. This is a projected view. This is one. Now, connection design interop. You know, the steel design connection can be designed with the Stat Pro interface itself using the RAM connection license. But the RAM connection is a part of a structural enterprise licensing system. It needs a license, but there is a workflow in Stat Pro that where you can call the piping, you can call this uh, piping what I showed, the, or the, the you know, auto rafter, and as well as the connection design as well. So no need of creating the data for the independent software is a single data created by Stat Pro or imported by other like OBD or some other uh, you know uh, modeling software modeling CAD sub, uh, system and that the single data can be used for multiple uh, um, uh, operations multiple executions of some kind so the Makember forces what it does is in uh, you know, this RAM connection, the member forces are exported to Stat Pro to RAM connection, and the connection is designed for critical load cases, automatically saving a lot of time for the structural engineers. It has a lot of templates and there are different type of connections. So the user uh, need to suit, you know, find a suitable connection, and the forces and moments at the designated connect, selected connect uh, node is, is uh, it imported from the stat pro to the design, it performed the uh, design. So the design and detail of the connection can be reported uh, along with the analysis and design to put a stat pro. So you know the stat pro is a facility to create a uh, 
रिपोर्ट एक रिपोर्ट एनालिटिकल रिपोर्ट एंड डिजाइन रिपोर्ट कैन बी राइट सो द रैम कनेक्शन कनेक्शन डिजाइन रिपोर्ट आल्सो कैन बी इनकॉर्पोरेटेड इनकॉर्पोरेटेड इन स्टैट प्रो रिपोर्ट इटसेल्फ सो दिस इज अ स्टिल कनेक्शन डिजाइन दिस इज अ थ्री डिमेंशनल व्यू rendered view rather how it looks like the updated ram connection is version 1.13 i think is uh, includes support of horizontal bracing reintroduce the dx output it supports uh, is a newly added features because the ram connection is a long lasting uh, and a software is mainly but uh, recently we have added the uh, as4100 and uh, nzs3400 so it supports the you know, australian and new zealand retailers and uh, as well now come to the foundation uh, design interrupt and many of you might have known this uh, we have uh, stat foundation uh, software which is a long lasted in our uh, structural portfolio uh, so what it does is if the support reaction can be exported from stat analysis to the foundation for further processes what are the further processes it can design there are many kind of you know foundation that could be designed with foundation design the primary one is the isolated footing combined footing strip footing pile cap and foundation advances that requires a license actually it has got any uh, there are different mode of foundations like a toolkit type of foundation plant foundation mat foundation machine foundation some where the foundation is you know holding some uh, uh, vibrating machinery and all so that can be done so for this kind of things the user need to have a stat foundation advanced license which is again the part of scl structural enterprise license it covers all this and here uh, i just want to note the stat pro comes with the foundation the basic foundation that doesn't really need a license that is a free of cost but it is a, it has got very limited option if you look at the bullet point 2 it is completely mentioned that basic foundation advanced isolated what it does is isolated footing combined footing and pile cap this three but if your requirement project requirement is more than that definitely it is it cannot be restricted resources to that limited uh, foundations only so you have to have a stat foundation advanced license which is you know a part of scl so if you get a scl you'll get all these things and this interoperability as other interops this interops also saves a lot of time because it the user doesn't need to uh, get the support reaction by himself or herself or find the column location to go for the foundation every information the support reaction the moment and forces at the support uh, where the foundation is going to be designed and the column locations getting imported from stat pro analysis so Our pro for industrial structure, like Stat Pro uh, for analysis and design of the steel structure, uses the steel auto drafter. That is what we have discussed. Uses the integrated ram connection. What we have discussed and foundation. What we have discussed. This is actually uh, we are going to uh, in, a, in a you know live action now, and uh, thereafter uh, we'll we'll go for another set of uh, interop with the ram uh, ram structural system and our. SSCD stared advanced concrete design system which is known as known as RCDC so there is a model there is a model actually the this is a model created by uh, our um, open uh, uh, plant modeler open mod plant modeler and it was actually uh, modeled for the structures this is a you know pipe Uh, supporting structures but the model was, was created the structure as well as the piping arrangement and some equipment and we have extracted 
like the very first time in the beam operability we we in notice the how to get the sub structure through the ism and get into a stat pro so we have we have extracted this structural part of the whole model into stat pro through ism here and what is our line of what will be our line of action actually we will design this at the same time will the as the piping uh, arrangement uh, was also uh, transferred from the open uh, plant modular to the auto pipe through the uh, pxf so there it is analyzed and we'll get the reactions of the pipes which sits on the structure and we'll go for a, uh, a combined stiffness analysis uh, for for that design to be safer so this is a model uh, which is uh, i repeat again uh, it is actually created in open building modeler and it is now we are in the start prior to connect edition this is the analytical and a mode look at uh, this 3d rendered view here it is now if you go to the piping see the piping here we have uh, there is an option called interop we can import the and we can export also the piping options and we can transfer the loading of the piping which is done here and you will look at this 3d model now the refreshed model the pipes are sits on the structure and this is a anchor point basically this is an anchor point and we created with the master and slave command this is where this, this is connected to a pressure vessel so all the loads coming here will be distributed to the slave joints that is the whole purpose of this creating the you know the master slip command in a stack pro this is very useful now the, look at this loads now this uh, i think four five six seven eight this uh, five load cases is created for the for the reactions of the pipe came in and all other load cases are actually created in the stack pro itself for the structure only now if we go for the analysis it uh, and go for the post processing and it's is see the utilization ratio uh, definitely it is uh, it differs from the before importing the pipe load and after post uh, importing the pipe load analysis so it performs the design uh, this and it gives the bill of uh, you know quantity uh, still take off as well now let's uh, try to the steel drafter as we just gradually will uh, move one by one so this is once we call the steel drafter auto drafter you see the menu has already been changed and see the ribbon and the whole model came up with uh, you know alpha nuclear grid lines and the beams and everything is marked there this is fully customizable and user can customize it can give the section description uh, 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 the approximate material takeoff because why it is approximate because we we designed as a center line and you see this we are creating another uh, design uh, for another section and so you look at this top uh, on the tab below drawing one right this is drawing two and uh, all the member sizes length approximate and tonnage uh, it gives so for the another uh, uh, design uh, this section say uh, section along z uh, this is the section the beam marking that can be customized and if you have a micro station installed in your system this uh, drawing can be you know transferred to micro station for further processing at the same time it can create a dxf for other cat software to be supported with this for further processing so this is what the you know the, with the same file we have seen the piping interoperability now let's move to the connection so there are predefined connections we have already done before there are five connections it seems like some of the bolted connections some of the gusset plates so this is the connection we have picked up and this is the view of the you know the, this is the result uh, as uh, we do the hand calculation it could be a part of the report uh, and 
let's go for uh, you know this is fully you know you can transfer it to a doc or any other format uh, this is a three dimensional view let's go for other connection here this it's like bolted connection i guess yeah this is the bolted collection is previously created and this is the dxf view that, that dxf can be you know export it to other cat software as well Excuse me. Now let's move to the foundation design. So in a single model, uh, we can we can show the entire op of piping, auto drafter, connection, and foundation. And we call the foundation from this start pro workflow. And select it for this uh, all load cases. And you notice it is coming up, it's processing the data because we have uh, launched this data foundation at right hand side corner. You will get it here. This is the foundation menu. It opened up and it is, and there's a single click. I mean, what happens is it, it, it imported the column reactions and the column locations of the structure. Uh, so user doesn't need to, to you know, redefine all these things again and again. So the single data created in StatPro, single model created in StatPro, analyzed therein, you can just go for the foundation design. And uh, there are various options, just we have created a job and perform the design and it is designing. There is an option for the users to create, uh, you know, the define the different parameters for concrete reinforcement, cover and soil, the footing geometry, sliding and overturning um, parameters. So this is what is done. By, it is done by isolated footing. Here we have used that, I think, I've used that um, American code. But anyway, it supports American, European, British, and then Australian codes as well. This is the general arrangement drawing. The font size can be, you know, uh, increased and uh, the viewing uh, options could be manipulated at the right hand, right -hand side, can uh, increase the uh, you know, uh, font size and other parameters, and you can refresh it for better beam purpose. See the dimensions and the grid lines. This drawing could be saved as a GWG file and uh, for further processing and other caps up there. Uh, you can you can check any uh, you know uh, independent footing uh, from the drop down select the footing it will give you the plan and elevation and as well as reinforcement details with dimensions and reinforcement details as well as a very comprehensive uh, foundation design and detailing So this all could be, you know, could be part of your, uh, could be part of your uh, calculation sheet. And the way we produce the calculations, say for example, let's look at four, four, the calculation sheet here. It gives the entire calculation. It reflects the input data what we have given. I mean, what is uh, as imported from Stat Pro, and uh, different load conditions that you considered. And final footing size. Um, if there is a modification, but the overall control is in user hand for defining the parameters. What, what I have done is here, I have selected the default parameters. That is, the default is already industry standard. But the, if in, in extreme condition, if there is a need for changes, the user can change it and uh, go for the uh, design. So in a brief, now uh, we will come for the you know uh, RCDC uh, interoperability. As I said, uh, uh, advanced uh, 
this is actually in a stat pro uh, if you call the stat pro uh, workflow the uh, stat advanced concrete design uh, in short form we call it sscd but actually it was it was a program called which is known for uh, for years by the by the engineers at rcdc Bentley acquired RCDC about two or two years back, and then we incorporated in our workflow. Uh, is the advanced concrete design RCDC is included in STAT Pro Advanced License, which enables structure engineers to perform advanced concrete design grouping and detailing. So what it does is it design, it group the column, beam, slab, whatever the capabilities are there. And it does the detailing as well. So what it does is it designs the beams, columns, shelves, slabs, isolated footing, staircase design, and detailing can be done quickly with uh, within the stat pro advance using RCDC interoperability. Yeah, this is another. So we'll we'll go in action. And this again, uh, it's it's the whole objective is to save your engineers time and project time. Eventually, the uh, you know reduce the cost of the project. So this is um, a image how RCDC, you know, this is a column design portion, and this is a model. Uh, it was created uh, by RAM structural system, and then later on, uh, uh, design was performed by RCDC. So the footing layout for that one we are going to probably show is this is the footing layout. The detailed drawing, footing detailed drawing, that's how the RCDC produces the drawing. Just a visualization, an idea. Pile layout shows like this. Pile cap layout. These are the features in RCDC. And column and wall detail drawing. It's a typical, these are all typical drawings and layouts. One more. And you see that the column detail, this column elevation plan. There are various form of columns and walls and beams that you can be designed, it can be detailed, it can be produced as a drawing, and there's a staircase drawing as well. And text schedule, what it produces is, uh, you know, uh, slab schedule. If you if you design the slabs, it produces the slabs, and these are the output. Uh, slab mark, slab thickness, along its short span, along long span, the you know reinforcement details, uh, over long supports and over short supports, and distribution. And if there is a remax, it comes. Text schedules for columns, bar bending schedules. It produces the detailed report and bar bending. So detailed design calculation, design summary. It gives the failure diagnostics. But any reason any member fails, it gives the diagnostics in order to be the reason behind it to be, to be failed, so that user can change either the size. Increase the number of reinforcement, increase the bar dia, the dia of the you know bar. So many other ways uh, is I can just make it uh, passed. And uh, Barbin uh, bill of quantities, bill of quantities gives uh, with estimation uh, depending on different country currencies and rates, and uh, it can change the member properties in the post design first phase of design. A design calculation report, this is how it produces. This is a bill of quantities. You see, this is this is actually captured for the rate of Indian rupees and uh, total material and rebars and everything. The rate was embedded there. The rate can be changed by the user and they can refresh and get the final, you know, uh, um, 
estimation. Now let's go for the action. See, this is a model. This is a structure model with a shear wall. Structure model with a shear wall, and it is actually created in RAM structural system. RAM structural system is the, actually the skeleton diagram, the you know the um, our, uh, analytical model. Well, RAM structural system does the physical modeler, and now we call that <coughs> excuse me, we call that RCDC, and and produce the beam design. Quick design. So it produces the design. It is very simple. And for a selected beam, it shows this, you know, beam design. And if at any condition, if you really see all this, the okay, B2. So for B2, we can go for the details. It is showing like this. So the span of B2. So it is a continuous beam. So B2 here is a B2. So here we got to change the details instead of three numbers. You just make it five at the bottom. Unless what happens is we accepted it, and we look at this still B2 B2, and we accept it here, and you see the changes. It was three T ten, but now it is changed at the bottom. So here the option why I'm displaying these things. Because to let the users know that you have the final, the first phase of design is not the final. So you have your own choice, depending on the you know workability and construction point of view. If you need to change something, uh, you are fully you know flexible to do so, or allowed to do so. And it produces the report. And say beam number uh, B1, B2, B3, B4. Only this, because if you select all the beams, it will be so big. <laughs> This is the beams. This is refreshed and modified. And if you see the cross section at uh, B2, this is what it is. Compared to the left hand side, you see the bottom reverse number five. Yeah, we are saving this. Now come to uh, interoperability through open state macros. This is, you know, uh, before going into the action, uh, what the macro does, because there's an open state facilities and features in Stat Pro that is lying over the years. It's not very recent one, but we have we have enhanced some of the things recently. Uh, is the VPA macros, there's the inbuilt macros that allows engineers to link their in-house design spreadsheet with the analysis result of Stat Pro. Supposing you have some Extract some um, different, uh, you know, uh, output results, and you have your state spreadsheet to use, or you can just write a BBA macros to do that. You can do that. It increases the efficiency of the structural engineers as they can combine the strength of both the spreadsheet and the stat pro and finish their designs up. It's a combination of both, so definitely it's stronger. And use the box gutter. So what we are going to demonstrate? There is an inbuilt BBA macros already created in the uh, in the in the Open state folder of the installation folder of a Stat Pro. Everybody can look at it. So it's a box guarded at BBS and the rectangular beam exodus examples, uh, spreadsheet examples, provided in open state folder. So we'll just uh, see how it works. Let's go in action. So this is we are in Stat Pro as as usual uh, with Stat Pro Connect Edition, and uh, we are going to the, see this utility and there is a macros. And there is a box gutter max. That's what I'm talking about. And we can edit this. And this is a, a creating a macro to complete box gutter grid line. So, so if you have the ability to do this, um, you know, um, visual basic programming knowledge a little bit, you can practice. You can create your own, uh, you know, macros and uh, for future use, cross second use, repeated use, you can save it. So this is that. This is in built. And what you can do is we can run this. Uh, here you can change the you know divisions, the number of heights, and all this. I'm keeping this as default. So this is what it does. And you see, you notice that uh, uh, these are the plates. So it is a look at the right hand side. The spreadsheet in the stat pro requires the spreadsheet input is already created. And at the same time, uh, this is I think uh, the plates, the four noded plates. 
Now, another option is uh, to, you know, the mm, spreadsheet. So I have opened a program in that example eight from any folder, and you can run and analyze it. I can go for this uh, uh, post processing, get the reactions, get the whole structure building moment diagram. Uh, go for a selected beam and get these results in the spreadsheet. So it is there is an option if you open that one which is there in built and modify get the stat pro output yourself. So this is in a brief what we have done is is a we have we have taken the advantage of ism facilities and look at this left hand side the all the programs which is encased by the red uh, you know border line this is our products i mean the bentley products at the right hand side which is actually supported by the you know, structural enterprise license in addition to that the right hand side ecosystem building designer which is open building uh, modeler and pro structure is our bentley products and we support our partners as well. Supposing somebody has created a structure in Techless Structural System, or Revit, or Drupal, that can be, there is a plugin available that could be downloaded from Bentley download site. And with that plugin, that data can be transferred through ISM and and, and, and subsequently to our, any one of our uh, supported software. So this is the big picture. So in a summary, what we have done today is uh, we all know StackPro is a general purpose structural analysis and design software that is used to analyze design almost any types of structural, um, structural projects, interoperability with beam, piping, wrapping, connection, connection design, foundation design, advanced concrete design, and detailing and open state macros make StackPro a powerful structural analysis and design software. So probably uh, I could be able to you know, demonstrate with this my limited uh, given time to all these things. And now uh, you can you can uh, always get a better idea if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, Bentley Structural YouTube channel. So you can subscribe, and that there's a tons of tons of you know YouTube channels uploaded. And then we have our learning uh, server as well. You log into Bentley Learn server. Uh, there are many many modules, many tutorials are uploaded therein for self practicing. Uh, for you can be self trained. Uh, and we this is our support uh, forum. We have a community blogs. Uh, B community, you can make a Google search. We can raise a service request uh, through Bentley Service Request Manager, so you know, enterprise portal. Uh, there is a connect advisor, it's nothing but the program specific Google uh, that gets installed and uh, connect.bentley.com, all the information there. In addition to that, if you have any further queries, you can write to any one of us, the mother and to be or any one of our colleagues that can be, you know, uh, delivered to the right place. Now,